Hello, uh, Mr. Kennedy at Thistley. Uh, this week's principles blog is different, and I'm, there's two introductions to it. Um, I've did a video for the central team and the trust uh, for a conference that I was at on Monday and Tuesday of this week, and I was asked to by Nicole McCartney, who is the director of education, to um, create a video called "A View from a Bridge." Now, I, I, I re-say this in about. 20 seconds in the video but what I need to explain is there's two parts of the video that go black um, that sort of sort of the, the buffer between each video and at the conference I would explain a little bit about what was on in the video so we talk about challenges that schools are facing nowadays we talk about issues that schools are facing nowadays and then I do a little bit of a celebration with some thanks to people that have operationally helped us this year, whether it's through behaviour, working with SEND students, working with EIL, working with just giving me advice as a principal um, and, and having a, a person that I can speak to whenever I've come across issues that I need to, to help, uh, to, that I'm struggling with, but also on the other hand that these people have also asked me for help also. So that's what the video is about. Um, I hope you enjoy it. It is a long one, but it's really worthwhile seeing to the end because it encapsulates what it's like to be a school leader in 2023. Thank you very much, everybody, and enjoy. Hello and welcome to a very special edition of the Principal's Blog. I'm here in our new school diary room um, and this is painted by some of our Year 10 students. It's absolutely fantastic. There's still work to do on it, but I thought I'd, I'd come from here for this, this blog. I've been asked by Nicole McCartney to talk about what it's like to be a school leader, the issues and the challenges in a piece entitled A View From A Bridge. Unfortunately, while Nicole um, has picked me, I don't think I'm the right person to talk about it. So I've enlisted some of my colleagues to help me. Um, over to them. This academic year, we've had 29 people premium students join the academy, each with their own individual challenges. It's also a challenge as a classroom teacher when we don't have any prior data on those learners that are joining us. It's also harder to build relationships when they're new families that we haven't built those relationships with over years. We've had 90 new students at Bisley Huff Academy this year. 61% of those have been new to the UK. That brings it with the challenges. So it may be accessing the curriculum because of English as an additional language. It may be finances in order to afford uniform or understanding the culture around education in the UK. students means that we have to think creatively when we're teaching. Uh, for example, we will use images quite often and also act out the words, which means that students are more likely to understand some difficult concepts. This academic year we have faced many challenges within the EAL department. Over 40% of international new arrivals joined the academy, including the A11s who were unable to find a school within the local area. With the support of the additional member of staff within the EEL team, we are able to run additional interventions improving people's progress, as well as enabling those disadvantaged learners to access the curriculum, understand the British culture and to socialise within the community. concern in Year 11's attendance, we were able to overcome this by one-to-one -one mentor meetings, home visits and rewards such as free lunch passes. Our attendance improved by around 2% this year. The major concern that I'm going to face this year and challenge is going to be keeping that positive trend for Year 10 through into Year 11. Um, obviously they are going to be the top of the school now so they need to make sure that they are uh, keeping those expectations and acting as a role model for up and coming Year 7s. For me, the main challenge in Year 11 is exam anxiety and stress. 
This is confirmed by a report from ASCO which said that 78% of head teachers are reporting an increase in the number of students requesting to sit their exams outside of the exam hall. And I think that's down to more knowledge gaps because of COVID, yet the exams haven't got any easier. So it's quite challenging for our year 11s. Hello, welcome back. I want to thank all of our colleagues who have just spoken. They know who the audience are, they know who you guys are, and they are nervous and they did a really, really sterling job. Um, I'm in the attendance office, and the reason that I'm here is publicly I want to say how fantastic this attendance team are. Attendance at Thistle was excellent um, in comparison to the locality. I think we were second. Uh, we're now first. Um, and it, this team have been truly amazing in the last six months. They don't want recognition, but I'm telling them publicly, really good. Thank you, ladies. You're amazing. Um, when asked by Nicole, I had to really consider the difference between strategic leadership and operational leadership. Um, and when I sat down and thought uh, what running a school was like, the biggest challenges because we'll talk about issues in the next piece but the biggest challenges generally for for me are operational which is why talking to our colleagues is much more important than talking to me because if a challenge is there for them it might be small in comparison to a whole school thing but if that challenge is it exists we have to try and overcome that challenge um, there is external and internal challenges we need to worry about as well and these are things out of our control most of the time but here at Thistle, we tackle them head on, we rise above them, we're strong and we work as a team. And I, I, I truly believe that the team here has developed so much over the last 12 months that any challenge put our way, we will accept it and we will move forward with it. Thank you very much, everybody. And Noel, back to you in Daventry. One of our biggest issues here at Thistley is supporting our most vulnerable learners, specifically those that have been identified as students with SEND, and that's for a number of reasons, but m mostly due to the lack of funding, and that's a national picture, I know you'll be sitting there thinking this exactly affects you in your, uh, your context as well, um, and that's the lack of funding regarding recruitment, um, and particularly around our case support students, those that we see have our most challenging trends in behaviour, challenging trends in attendance and safeguarding, um, and also also the lack of provision for our SEMH students and their complexity of need that we are trying to meet within the classroom and within the whole school context. Hi my name is Tilly and I'm in year 10. Today I'm going to talk about a challenge that I faced during being at this academy. This challenge was COVID-19. It disrupted around three years of my learning and gaps have been lost but due to the amazing teachers in the academy they've been able to restore these gaps and fill them in. Maths and English were the priority during the disruptive learning time, so I feel like my other subjects such as RE and Geography weren't noticed enough and this does affect me during my exams as I get slightly nervous. Thank you. My name's Sarah Morgan and I'm the HR Officer here at Disley Huff Academy. One of the biggest problems facing anybody that works in educational HR at the moment is the national shortage of teaching staff. Um, we've been very fortunate here at the Academy this year that we've actually only had two members of teaching staff resign and that's due to promotions elsewhere. And due to the rapid improvement in growth within the school, it's not looking likely that any of our leaders are going to be moving on anytime soon. Therefore, it is possible that we might well lose some really excellent teaching staff within the next 12 months. When students start secondary school with a low reading age, it can be a huge issue and challenge, not just for us as an academy, but for them and for their parents and carers at home as well. We've worked really hard this year in trying to get our students to engage with texts that are relevant and suitable for them, and to actually try and challenge them with more suitable texts as they go through their reading journey. On top of that, we've also been working with the parents and the wider community, because some of the parents and carers actually have low reading ages themselves, and we're working to try and support them in the best way possible so they can support their child with accessing our curriculum and actually making sure that we have that support in place in the classroom and outside of interventions as well. Have a good day and back to you at Daventry, Mr Kennedy.
budgets, we made a surplus. We had a full loose production, which was fantastic. Transition for year five and for year six and we had the first ever primary heads meeting all together from the locality. In recruitment we appointed a VP for teaching and learning, we appointed two teachers, one in humanities, one in geography, teaching and learning coaches, uh, we had a key stage two teacher, we've added capacity in EAL and SEND and we've appointed a new facilities manager. Uh, we got green on our safeguard review, I know it's a secret, sorry Lewis, uh, improved attendance, two PS5s were given out, at least 10 iPads, specialists in every single classroom for this year and for next year. We've got a Kingfisher room and our social media is excellent. We, in teaching and learning we improved literacy and reading ages, we've introduced a reading canon, we've updated our CPD offer and we've had subject specialists in every classroom. Now I'm the Classrooms. We've got fencing, we've got cameras, painting and decorating, thank you very much John Ward. Parent forums, Action Jackson, he was excellent and we focused on young carers this year. Extracurricular activities have included football, cricket, rugby, we have chess, food and debating clubs and we've introduced a half termly newsletter. Firstly, they have won the first local sports that they've won in many years. We had a sports awards evening at Portfield Football Club. We've got an awards evening down in uh, Hanley. We focused on PP, EAL, SEND, safeguarding and young carers with parental forums. And we've got a diary room. Thank you, Nicole. Until you hear